Okay, let's talk about these graph fails. And of course we have our math student here who has a frown because it didn't go well. And uh, you know, just like these bloopers and blunder videos that we find so funny on uh, YouTube or TV, you know, uh, you know, people are doing something that's a little bit simple or kind of just going through and then boom, something funny happens. Well, there's nothing funny about getting a math problem uh, wrong, but uh, these particular, what I'm going to be talking about, these particular graphs are so easy that it's kind of crazy. There's kind of this um, thing that the easier things are in math, sometimes I see students making more mistakes. So it's kind of a strange relationship because I think that, oh, it's so easy. Yeah, yeah, oh, I know it. I know it. I know it. And guess what? You end up doing it wrong. And then we get this situation. So we're going to try to avoid these basic graph fails. Anyone can learn this. It's going to be super easy, but again, easy to make an error. So before we get into this, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed what I like to believe one of the most comprehensive online math programs there, uh, there is out there. Okay, so if you like my teaching style, uh, whether you need to take a full course or you need uh, uh, help in your uh, course that you're taking and you want to use my program as a supplement, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. Also, I have uh, various math notes, um, pre-algebra, algebra 1, uh, algebra 2, trigonometry, and geometry. You need to be taking great math notes. So if you've been following me a while on uh, YouTube, you know that I, you know, I reiterate that uh, constant the bet the better your notes are the better you're going to do in math but if you haven't been taking good math notes for you know some time all right and just don't know how to do that you still need uh, a reference okay so if you want to pick up a pair of my math notes uh, i'm going to leave a link to those in the description of this video as well okay so here is the situation all right i have a xy coordinate plane and i like to be able to graph these two lines okay so i'm just wondering do you think you can do this? Okay, if you're taking any kind of sort of algebra course, pre-algebra or beyond, you need to know how to do this because these are the most basic lines that we graph. Um, but let's kind of go down here and we'll we'll answer the question. All right. So um, you know, big focus in learning algebra, we get really tied up on graphing lines like this. We spend most of our time graphing what we call uh, linear equations, okay, that involve x and y, right? I want you to uh, notice this here, right? So we're like, we got a y equals one half x plus seven. So we study, you know, a lot of things like the slope-intercept um, formula, you know, standard form, uh, x, y intercept types of. We put most of the emphasis on being able to graph uh, lines that have two variables, an x and a y. And this is what we call a linear equation. But if effectively, lines that have an x and a y like this, okay, linear equations, are going to have some, some sort of slope, some sort of angle to them. Okay, they're going to be like this. Uh, they're going to be like this. Whatever the case is, they have a slope, which is represented by this little um, m value. Okay, So we spend a lot of time on this because these are the, uh, the more you know, uh, involved lines to graph. They're not that difficult, but they're certainly um, uh, more, much more involved than these uh, lines, okay? But these are the basic, basic lines. So when you start learning how to graph lines on an xy coordinate plane, we start off with something like this, x equals negative 2 or a line like y equals 4, okay? So the before you even get to this, all right, we need to learn how to graph x equals some number, all right, this is a particular form of a line, okay, and y equals some other number, okay, this is another type of line. So let's get to it, right? Um, well, let me just ask you this again, right? Could you graph these lines? X equals negative 2. Okay, so let's just get to it. So x equals negative 2. Well, i got to go to negative 2 on the x uh, axis here. So this is negative 1, this is negative 2, okay? And an x equals negative 2 line, that line goes through negative 2, okay, right there. And, uh, of course, I'm just kind of sketching this by hand. 
And this is the graph x equals, let me move my little y over here. This is the graph x equals negative 2, okay? Now, uh, it's a vertical line. So x equals a number is going to be a vertical line at that value. So x equals uh, 7 will be a vertical line through 7. Okay, you understand that? All right, I knew that you would. So there you go. Now, why is that the case? All right, let's just reinforce that because obviously if you're like, well, let me just kind of jump ahead. The y equals lines are going to be horizontal. Okay, so this is where students get confused. They, they'll, they'll mix these two things up. So either you're going to be right or wrong, right? If you put the horizontal line where the where it should be a vertical line, you're going to, you know, obviously have it incorrect. But let's just reinforce why, you know, how you can remember this. X equals negative two. Well, if I pick any coordinate that's on this line, its X value is going to be negative two. So remember, a point is X and Y. Okay. So x equals negative 2. This point right here, right there, is going to be negative 2 on x and 0 on y. Okay? But over here, let's say this point right there, this point right there on that line would be what? Well, it could be negative 2 on x, but negative 2 on y. Okay? What about this point up here? So let's say this is 1, 2, 3. That point right there, well, that could be negative 2 on x and maybe three, positive three on Y. So look what's happening, okay? All the X values are always negative two, okay? They're always negative two. So when you just connect the dots, I'm like, okay, let me plot, 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 and plot. And if I draw a line through all the points where X is always negative two, you can see that you're gonna get that vertical line, okay? So if you forget this, if you're, you know, you don't wanna just, use your brute memory to be like, oh, which one is that? Is it uh, vertical or horizontal? And guess what? Half the students, they'll do it wrong. And I'm like, oh, boy. And I used to frustrate me as a teacher. It's like, come on, get these easy problems right so I don't have to uh, you know, bring down your grade. But anyways, again, you know, the whole point here is this. When something's so easy, it's also very easy to uh, mess up. And the, whole, the only way you're going to avoid messing up is to kind of really understand more about why this is the way it's, uh, it is, okay? So x equals negative 2 doesn't mean like, oh, it's, it's a vertical line. Well, it's a vertical line because x equals negative 2. We always have that negative 2 in the x position of these coordinates. All right, so, okay, let's go ahead and erase this guy. All right, so obviously our second uh, problem here okay, it is going to be pretty basic to understand because what y equals 4 is going to be, it's not going to be a vertical line, it's going to be a horizontal line at 4. So let me just adjust my scale here. All right, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So y equals 4 is a horizontal line that goes through 4 on the y-axis. So this is y equals 4. But let's just reinforce that with the same concept that we did with the vertical line, okay? So any uh, point that's on this line, okay, let's say this point right here, let's say this is negative 4, what's this coordinate? Well, it's going to be negative 4 on x, but positive 4 on y. How about this point right there? Well, that's 0 on x, positive 4 on y. How about this point? Let's say that's 1, 2, 3. Uh, this point would be 3 on x, positive 4 on y. Okay, so y equals 4 is where that y coordinate is always remaining as 4. Okay, and of course, if I was to plot these points, I'd get a nice horizontal line. Okay, so you can see here that, you know, uh, uh, how students can confuse this. So maybe you did, maybe you confused it as well. Who knows? Maybe uh, 40 years ago, I confused it. I'm pretty sure I did. I did not do... I didn't take high school math pretty uh, seriously, quite frankly, uh, because when I finished high school, I went off in the United States Marine Corps, uh, and that kind of straightened me out. But, um, you know, I'm sure I was making a ton of these mistakes. I certainly didn't understand the way I would want my students to do. So I see, hey, I get it. You know, if you're young and you're learning this stuff, or maybe you're an adult. Here's the thing, too. If you're an adult 
and you look back, do not look back to your high school years. If you're, let's say you're 50 years old, 30 years, whatever. Okay. Don't look back and be like, I'm terrible at math because I used to, I used to just be so bad at math in high school. Just remember, Hey, like you're a completely different person back in those days. Okay. So even if you're in your twenties, you know, you're not the most mature person <laughs> in high school. At least certainly I wasn't, but you get what I'm getting at. Right. Um, uh, do, don't judge your math abilities based upon who you want, you know, who you were. Okay. But what I am telling you is, you know, when you're learning math to avoid making mistakes, don't just assume that because something's easy, that you're going to just easily remember it and do it perfectly, uh, every time. Okay. Quite the contrary. All right. Uh, oftentimes it's, Oh yeah, that's easy. I got that. I got that. Da, 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 da. I, I got that. I know that. I know that. And that is like the statement that you want to avoid. I know that. I know that. I know that. And guess what? Uh, that phrase gets you in trouble. I know that. I know that. Well, no, you don't know that as well as you think you do. Right? That's why you got to take notes, great notes, study your notes, review, practice, practice, and practice until you get drilled into you. You're like, oh, yes, now I know why. And then you kind of move forward. Remember, uh, folks, there is no shortcuts in learning math. But you can certainly learn math. You can be great at math, okay? You don't have to, you know, be this person all the time, all right? But it's got, you know, you got to fight these little things, one little skill set at a time, all right? The little tiny skill sets end up being big skill sets, and it's really going to define how well you're going to learn math. Again, um, you know where to find help, at least with respect to me, if you like my teaching style. Also, hey, I would definitely love you to have... Uh, I love you as a um, new subscriber to my channel. And if you enjoy this video, please consider smashing a li like button, okay? All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.